Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your August 2016 general tarot forecasts. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As always, keep in mind these are general readings only and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Um, just use your intuition, keep an open mind, and take away the messages that do resonate with you in this general reading. Um, and you can also watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. Sometimes they resonate more with you than your sun sign. Um, and of course, if you're interested in a private reading, you can follow the link in the description box below. The first link will take you to my website. Um, so let's just have a look, Libra, what is going on for you in the month of August 2016. The overall energy for you this month is the King of Wands. And so the King of Wands, as our overall energy for the month, um, could represent you having a lot of ideas and the confidence to put them into practice. Um, the King of Wands is also someone who is taking charge and making things happen. Someone who is following their inspiration, backing it up with passion, with fire, with dedication, and making things happen. Someone who called the shots, pretty much. Um, someone who um, I feel can start a million things at the same time. I feel like the month of August could be a very busy month for you. I feel like a lot of projects and a lot of people may require your time and attention. Um, and this could be, you know, work related, but this could also be uh, with your friends, with your family, with your so um, social circles, personal projects, uh, relationships, whatever the case may be for you. Okay, just uh, remember to take away the message of the reading and apply it to your own situation. Um, but I do feel like a lot of things and people are going to require your time, your attention, your inspiration, your decision-making skills this month. What I would say is um, take your time and get more information. If you have to make a decision that is not clear to you, I feel like do some research, get more information um, so that you can make the best decision possible. And with the King of Wands, this could also be that um, at some point during the month you may find yourself a bit impatient or overly enthusiastic about something. Um, and that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that it doesn't cause you to overlook anything that might be useful in the future, okay? Um, and this could also represent the fact that a fire sign is going to be very significant in your month, in the month of August, okay? Fire signs are Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or just the fact that there's going to be a great deal of heat, activity, and dynamism um, happening for you in the month of August. In the first week of the month, we have another king. We have the king of coins. Um, I feel like for some of you, this is you, especially for those of you who have your own business. Um, I feel like there's a lot of progress being made. I feel like your business is very successful. It's reached a point where it can practically run itself. Um, Maybe some of your hiring staff to do this for you so that you have more time on your hands or you have more free time to uh, look at what other projects you can start with the King of Wands. Um, this is definitely finances coming in for you. This is um, material security uh, coming in for you in the first week. This is your hard work paying off with the King of Coins. This is something that has reached maturity. This is something that um, is coming full circle for you. You've worked very hard on it took a lot of time and a lot of effort, maybe a lot of your own money or your resources in general, but it is paying off for you and I feel that you will be benefiting um, from it in the first week. You will be enjoying the fruits of your labor. For others, this is um, an earth sign you're dealing with, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel like uh, for some of you, this, this th there could be a choice between uh, two people in the first week, okay, potentially in a romantic sense or maybe even in a business partnership sense um, where you are dealing with the fire sign or um, and um, an earth sign. Um, this may be their sun sign, moon, or rising because this is a general reading, but I feel that um, one of them is going to be very innovative, very creative, really outside the box, um, kind of coming up, making up their own rules as they go. Um, and then the other person is going to be someone who works in a more traditional way, in a more conventional way, um, takes their time, does the work, sticks to the plan, um, and produces results in the end, okay? I feel like one of them is more conventional and the other one is definitely the opposite of that. So if you have to choose between the two, you just have to identify what would be best for your business at this time. 
But with the King of Wands in your overall energy as well, I feel like this is also encouraging you to um, step outside your comfort zone and to try new things this month as well, to take a chance, okay? Educated risk though. Um, so do your research before you um, start something or you make a decision or you choose people for your business or projects for your business. Um, but like I say, this is definitely a sense of security, financial security, stability that is coming to you in the first week of the month. Uh, finances are improving or stabilizing at least. And this could also be, for some of you, I feel like you're spending more time at home uh, or with the family or investing more time in um, a relationship that matters to you. For the second week, we have the Palace of Swords. So the Palace of Swords is a place where our minds uh, roam free, okay? Where our um, rational thinking, logical thinking um, is encouraged, okay, to, to grow, to expand, to make new connections, to come up with new ideas and new understandings of things. Um, the Palace of Swords for some of you could represent a course that you're taking, maybe joining um, uh, a training course or uh, perfecting your skills with something, okay, because this is also attention to detail and um, polishing your skills for some of you, I feel. Um, the Palace of Swords is a place of study. It is a place of exchanging ideas with other people, brainstorming, um, sharing experiences, that leads to growth, that leads to um, new creativity and new inspiration. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're a teacher here. So you may be guiding someone, mentoring someone, or sharing information with someone, sharing your experience with um, um, one, people, one person or a group of people. Um, and for others, I feel like you're attending this place and um, you have a lot to learn. So I'm seeing a lot of reading, researching, taking notes, making plans, making lists, um, polishing something, uh, whether it is a plan, um, attaching last details to things, that sort of thing. For others, I feel like you could be uh, traveling potentially by air around the second week of the month, maybe to join this sort of um, group course class. Uh, convention for some of you. A place of learning. So whatever the case may be, it doesn't have to be necessarily conventional study, so like a school. It can be anything where you go to have new experiences that open up new worlds to you, that give you new perspectives, new understandings. It could be a business class for some of you, whatever the case may be. For the third week of the month, we have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is beautiful energy. The Page of Cups is loving communication, okay? And I feel like this could be coming your way from a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, or definitely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Page of Cups um, shows up to mark new beginnings in your emotional life, um, or a new beginning, new love coming into an existing relationships. Uh, in an existing relationship. I feel like with the Page of Cups, this person is either younger than you or young at heart or a hopeless romantic type of person. This is someone who's very open, uh, genuine, honest, not afraid to express how they feel, not afraid to show how they feel. Um, I feel like this is an invitation to you. This person may be from a different culture than you or um, just someone from a foreign place. Um, I feel like this is something, someone who is different than the type of person you usually go for, but at the same time, there's an appeal to them. There's something uh, that draws you to them. Um, so I feel like um, th this is a week where invitations to go out, invitations to date, invitations to get to know each other better happening, uh, compliments, okay, happening, coming your way, or you're paying compliments to this person. Um, but it is definitely sharing feelings, emotions, um, romantic intentions, romantic gestures, surprises happening. Um, with the King of Wands, I do feel like um, it's important that you step outside your comfort zone. I feel like it's important that you trust yourself enough to speak up if this is the case or that you um, give someone, someone a chance, even though they may be different 
than what you're going for, give them a chance. I feel like um, they're really asking you to um, try new things, okay, to go to new places, to try new activities that maybe uh, you haven't done before, you haven't really thought about doing. I feel like just give them a chance. It seems like it's going to be a fun week for you. And like I say, fun week, but that leads somewhere good. Uh, because the next card we have for the fourth week of the month is the Two of Cups. With the Page of Cups, um, I also feel children or a pregnancy announcement happening as well in existing relationships. Or the birth of a child could be as well. For the fourth week, we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is beautiful energy. This is a new relationship that is starting. Um, for some of you, this could be a new friendship with a soulmate connection. For others, this is a romantic relationship. For the most part, I feel like romantic relationship. Um, and for others, though, this could also be a business partnership as well towards the end of the month. Um, the main idea is that the type of partnership with the Two of Cups is one that is balanced, is one that is equal, um, is one where there is give and take, there are genuine intentions, you share work ethics, you share the same vision when it comes to how to do things, when it comes to plans, goals, etc. Um, this is a partnership where your voice is important, but at the same time, um, the other person um, has um, the opportunity to share their perspective, to share their input, and you can easily find common ground, okay, and um, kind of um, blend your two visions together to create something new and beautiful. Um, with the King of Wands, this could be that you start a new relationship. Again, this would be a water sign or a fire sign prominently. Water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so I feel like you're starting a new relationship with this person. Again, this person may be from a different place, from, from a foreign land or a foreign culture uh, for some of you. Or this is someone who's an entrepreneur, who's very creative, maybe has their own business. Um, very, very creative, really outside the box, very independent, very spontaneous, likes to have fun, likes to try new things every day. Uh, for others, this is in a business partnership with the King of Wands. I feel like you're taking on a partner or like a right hand, right hand person. Um, this is someone who's going to inspire you, who's going to come up with new ideas for you, for the business, um, going to, I feel, get a lot accomplished. This is someone who's very, very driven um, and dedicated to what they're doing and they really believe in what you're trying to accomplish or what you're trying to accomplish together. So I feel like a lot of progress will be happening as a result of this person joining your team or maybe you're joining their team, okay, you're joining their company because this could also be a contract, maybe you're joining a new company uh, in a new job, a new position or like I say, if you own your own business, this is a partner that is coming in. Like I say, this is someone who's very, very creative, um, all about innovation. They may do things a bit different than what you're used to but they're heading in a good direction. And again, their intentions are genuine. Um, and I will, um, you will be able to find common ground with this person. And I feel like if, if an idea of theirs is really out there, you can really bring them back to earth, kind of balance them out a little bit and find common ground for that idea uh, to move forward in a way that you're both happy with. Uh, but it's definitely about a beautiful connection, okay? Um, going back to love connections, this could talk about moving in together with someone. This could talk about marriage proposals or talking about love, uh, talking about the future together, okay? I feel like with the Two of Cups, you're definitely just getting started, but this person could definitely be a soulmate for you, um, a soulmate connection where you haven't been together for very long and yet you feel like you've known each other forever. Um, so just enjoy this connection, definitely um, try new things. I feel like there's a lot of love and there's a lot of passion happening. So really enjoy your time together. Your um, guidance card, your color card for the month is brown, number is 12. And brown is about establishing boundaries for you this month, okay? So um, I feel like this is tying in with the energy of the King of Wands, it's balancing it, balancing that out, okay? the um, uh, So 12 boils down to a 3, so that's about our creativity and our innovation and innovative skills and 
going for something new, trying new things, stepping outside the, the comfort zone, thinking outside the box, expanding our horizons. And it's also about initial results, seeing initial results that we invest into further work. Um, and I feel like it balances out the energy of the King of Wands in terms of this is going to be a very creative month for you. Make sure that you establish boundaries so that you don't go overboard with anything you do, okay? Because again, uh, you could get burnt out. You could, um, you know, in terms of burning, burning the candle at both ends, you could go overboard with the situation. Uh, you could kind of lose control of a situation because again, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion, creativity. Um, and that can easily overwhelm you um, unless you balance it out with some healthy boundaries. This is also asking you to not be afraid to call the shots, not be afraid to um, set some rules down, okay, for people in your life or people you work with or even for yourself um, in terms of this is what we're going to do and this is acceptable, this is not acceptable. Um, really standing up for yourself, believing in yourself, okay following your inspiration definitely but the card for you this month is about grounding yourself okay it's about balancing yourself out okay it's about um earth energy all right so um as long as you have your feet firmly on the ground it's absolutely okay for your head to go up in the clouds and imagine um beautiful changes beautiful projects beautiful plans that's absolutely okay because then you can bring them back to reality, okay? You can bring them from that place in the clouds back to reality because you are on the ground. Your feet are on the ground, okay? When we just are up in the air and we get overwhelmed by this fire energy and this inspiration and creativity, we can easily get overworked, overwhelmed, and kind of lose ourselves at the end of the day and really waste this energy, and that would be a shame. So it's really asking you to ground yourself this month. Um, your soul lesson for the month, let's have a look. We have Cave Sanctuary. So your soul lesson is, um, why are things happening the way they are for you this month? What the lesson is for you on a soul level, on a karmic level. Um, so Sanctuary for you is all about finding your happy place, okay, really, at the end of the day. Um, it is also asking you to find a calm, secure place in the outside world. Uh, to match your um, inside world, okay, your inner world, your happy place within. Um, this is asking you to really spend some time on your own, spend some time in nature. Um, maybe the pla the Palace of Swords where you go to um, is this place, okay, your cave, your, your sanctuary, uh, where you're alone with your thoughts and you're able to visualize things and come up with ideas a place where no one is going to bother you a place where people won't judge you there's no one there to criticize you're not criticizing yourself you're not judging yourself a place of calm of harmony balance um acceptance encouragement just peace okay inner peace um so you're really being encouraged this month to find this place um and i feel like it's a place that you have this place within and it's important that you find its equivalent in the outside world so maybe spend some time and figure out you know that trip that you've always wanted to take or that place you've always wanted to visit that holds some significance to you spiritually or emotionally whatever the case may be i feel like this would be a good idea for you this month to go to that place um and just take it all in just take it all in allow for that to ground you okay i feel like that is how these cards work together and also, it's good to have a place where you can go to relax, detensify, and also kind of bring back, bring it back to reality, bring it back down to earth, okay? When we get overwhelmed, because when we have a million ideas, that's a beautiful thing, but also, it, you know, it can kind of get away from, from us, and we can be overwhelmed um, and not see things clearly anymore and kind of get confused. So that's why I feel this card is asking you to find a safe place, a calm place, um, on the outside world, in the outside world, okay, to match your inner happy place, um, where you can be stress-free, where you can just be alone with your thoughts, with your creativity, with your ideas, um, take the time to write them down or just think about them, have no one else there that can push you or remind you of your uh, responsibilities or 
um, influence you in any kind of a way, okay, positive or negative. It's about you finding um, a calm place, a place of balance and harmony where you can bring it all back down to earth, okay? And also I feel this is asking you to work on your inner peace. This is telling you that this is going to be a busy month with a lot of people, okay? A lot of people are going to be coming in and out and uh, you're going to be meeting a lot of people, you're going to be talking to a lot of people and again that can wear you out, that can be very, very draining. So this is really asking you to make sure that you make time for yourself, for just yourself, okay? To just be alone, uh, just some quiet time um, for meditation or for prayer, um, some place where you can center yourself, where you can balance yourself before you go back out into the world. So there you have it, Libra. These are your messages for the month. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope it is useful. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how your month is going. That would be awesome. Um, thank you again for all your support and whichever form it comes my way. I'm very, very grateful. Um, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic month. I will talk to you mid-month. So take care until then.